Good morning. This is the Morning Motivation. I am Thomas Warden, and these are the entrepreneurs from across the world that come here each day to bring energy, love, vibration, and just inspiration to shift your life into a new direction, just like we did. We all have to rewire and refocus and re get into where we used to be as a child, you know, because it has taken many years of being wired to where we're at now with the thought processes, the trainings, the people we have listened to that haven't really had the success that we want in our life. And we know that there's something more out there, but if you're not around the people that actually have the success, then how are you going to know what success is, feels like, or, you know, your little slight taste of what you think your success should be my success of what I want in my life and the places where I'm going will be totally different from each one of these people. We're all on our own journeys. We're all on our own paths. We all have different things. I like a cabin in the woods, you know, in the middle of the mountains, you know, a creek running by and I'm happy could be, you know, there's some people that want the beach. There's some people that want to live in the city, you know, so we have different things that we want within our life and the places that we're going. So my question is, are you staying dedicated for the long haul? Are you thinking things should be coming within a three month or a four month period? And if it didn't happen, then you quit. The only person that you quit on when you do that means that you didn't stay dedicated to what you thought you truly thought was a success that you wanted within your life. You know, so if you're wanting a big house somewhere, then where is that house supposed to be located? Don't just settle for something somewhere that you're not really within your heart. Why would you buy a home in a neighborhood that you really don't want to be in? If you've got neighbors where you can touch them on each side, you know, arm's length away, is that really a place where you want to live? Or do you want to be in the middle of acreage somewhere and nobody around you for, you know, a good mile and a half, two miles away or, or further, you know? So what do you want and are you looking for the long haul? Are you looking for those short, quick results? Because if you're looking for quick, quick results, then you need to just go get a jobby job. Then you can just live that paycheck to paycheck and just, you know, you got that monetary fund. But if you want something more within your life, what are you doing to bring you to the next stage, that next level, that next goal that you're wanting to actually accomplish? And if you don't actually accomplish it in a time frame that you wanted, it's okay. Keep going. You know, because some people get in here and they say, I want to quit my job within four months. Why are you putting a date on it? Have fun with the journey of it coming that you will be walking away from that job. If you're coming in here to learn how to be an online affiliate marketer and learning how to build a business and this, that, and the other, it does not happen overnight. It's the longevity of the game, just like a brick and mortar business, getting eyeballs on your offer, people coming to the store, whatever it takes. Some people are doing door to door. However you're doing whatever business that you're doing or whatever career path that you're in, then you have to stay dedicated because I promise you, you didn't learn how to be that RN or that nurse or that doctor overnight. You stay dedicated to go and listen to that professor. You stay dedicated to go into those uh, classes. You stay dedicated to that internship and you become that doctor. And if you're not dedicated to becoming an online affiliate marketer, then you have failed you because this is a long haul game. This is something new. This is right here at the forefront of what we're doing It's steadily evolving each day. And why is it evolving? Because people like us that have something else that we have done within our life, we're bringing new things to the table and they're listening to what we're talking about and how it could all become easier. And they're implementing those things and those programs for us in there to make it all easy for us to, to do more on the online world, to be able to make more money by big corporations. And all you have to do is pay attention and listen to the training of people that have had the success within this organization already. And we're showing y'all step by step on how you can do it. But all you have to do is stay dedicated on a day to day basis. This is not something that you're going to do for two or three days and you're going to walk away from each day. You need to make sure that you schedule within your time, a good hour, if not two, if you can, you know, if you can put an hour a day to this on a day to day basis, and keep within the training and go through all the other fluff, stay within that training. I'm doing this training today and I'm going to work on that. Boom. Now you implement that. All right. Tomorrow, you know, there's an, the next unit you're going to work on. So then you'll come back tomorrow and you work on that next unit. You don't skip around and bounce around. You follow the exact process that we have laid out. And then you'll see the roadmap start opening up to more roads, more places to go and more, you know, and it's like, Oh, which one do I take? No, no, no. Listen to your mentor. And then he's going to show you exactly which one you need to go to or she and exactly keep you focused on what we have done in this process 
you know, because Jen's been doing this for three years now, a little bit over, and she has brought many people into new directions of their lives. Why? Because they listen to what she said. And I am thankful I did, you know, so each day I am thankful for her and the leaders above her that has brought me into the new directions of my life. So I can know that I stay dedicated every day to building something more for me, my family and the people that was actually attracted to me because every person puts out something of a video. Julio could go out in there and put out the same video. I may not have caught their attention. His voice may have the way he spoke, the way he presented it, whatever. Same thing as Carol. Carol may have said the exact same script that I said, but she could put it out. People didn't come to me. They may attract it to her. So it's all a presentation on the attraction that we're trying to get people to see our products or our services. Go ahead, Jen. Just really quick. So just to touch upon what you were saying about people, you guys want to hear something super cool. So it'll give you guys like some hope for anyone who's just starting into this. I was talking to Caitlin yesterday and all of my friends are starting to be like, okay, what are you doing? And so this is a real circle guys. While we don't, I don't care if my friends decide to do this or not because literally attraction marketing, my phone is off the hook 24 seven, just like you guys will be too. I now have people who were like hating on me and calling me like, you know, the worst of worst and like not being supportive at all. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? So just to keep, just to keep going with this guys and know that it's a circle, it's all going to come back to you. And honestly, looking at this now where I was like, guys, I want your support three years ago. Now I'm like, meh, this is the information. Take with it what you want because I got, thousands of people around the globe who are ready to do something. So just wanted to give that, throw that out there. No, I mean, you're so right. we was talking about the, she kind of chatted me, you know, I put something out about the six weeks to abundance group, uh, just the group and then how they can get their private link to that. And there's one guy not even in the group, not even in it's that and the other. He said, this is evil. You can't make somebody abundant in six weeks. Really? I can make somebody abundant in one day. It's all a mindset. It's all a process that you put within your own head. So if you think, but that's what another thing that I was going to bring up this morning, abundance. Too many people think it's all about the dinero. It's all about the green stuff. They're looking at it all wrong. That's what I said this morning. I got clothes on my back today. I am abundant. I got food in my cupboards this morning. I am abundant. I had a roof over my head last night. I am abundant because I know in a, in a blink of an eye, Mother Nature could take it all away from us. You know, she could come in here with a little twister. We see it all the time on the news and wipe out a whole neighborhood. You know, a five mile wild stretch for two miles. Boom. You know, so who knows? So that's why I say each day, stay dedicated to you and your bigger picture of what makes you happy. And then you will see it all come back tenfold. Those that Jen understands where I'm coming from on this, and many of y'all will as, as well. Your friends will. Be behind the tree following. You can't see me. You know, I don't want, you know, but they want to know what you want to doing, but they don't want to come ask you. So they wait a period of time when they finally see that success and said, well, why didn't you offer this, you know, to me back then? I did. I sleep very well at night because you chose not to. It's not my fault that you're coming crying now. So when we do offer this out there to the world, to people to see our products and our services and everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, and you don't go with it, don't come crying later saying that I was the one that was lacking you. It's not. You were the one that was lacking yourself because you said, I can't. Oh, I had this going on in life. Oh, I got to find myself or, you know, oh, I got to get this, you know, straight first. When are we ever going to get it all straight? When are we ever going to get it all done? When are we ever going to have every goal actually accomplished? When are we going to have every dream ever accomplished? Never. But are we staying dedicated on a day-to-day -day basis to what you truly want in life? And not all these, oh, that's shiny. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'd like to have that. Oh, that's shiny. I, oh, I like that. I call it the squirrel syndrome. You know? Because y'all got a dog, you know, anybody, anybody got a dog, you know what I'm talking about on squirrel sy syndrome. You could be playing with them pretty and pet and they're nice and they're quiet and they're comfortable and all of a sudden a squirrel goes by, you can't control them. Shoo, they're gone. So 
Same thing with people in life. They have that squirrel mentality and that not a true focus of where they want to go. So within this group and this organization and six weeks to abundance and your mentors, if you're truly looking for something more, we are helping people to get a better focus in their financial side and their relationship side and their communication with people side, their listening side, all of that right there. You know, so once you get all of that in tune, we keep talking about the life wheel balance. And that, that one guy, you know, told me two days ago on a message, I'll never get it all balanced. You're right. Because you don't choose to get it all balanced. Then I look, then you lose them. Well, I choose to have a good life every day. And it don't sound like it to me just by your tonality that you're giving back. Because if you're in that, that snooty with your tonality to me, trying to defend yourself, thinking that you have it all together, you had it all together, then you wouldn't have that lack mentality mindset. If you had it all together, you'd be living your life doing the things that you wanted to do. And if you want to know how, I can show you. Just like some of these people or all these people right here that you see on the screen. We can walk you through the same process because we all start from the same place. We all start at the bottom, working our way up to get all of this corrected so we can have the life that we truly desire. I'm having a wonderful life. I'm enjoying every moment of it because it is given to me today so I can get in here and have a good time with it. All right. It's a good day to have a good day. Go ahead, Brother Julio. We're going to pass it on. I'm a little busy this morning, Thomas, so I, I apologize. Not a um, you know, duty call, sir. Duty call. So, so I'm just kind of listening in. I love you guys. Good morning. Appreciate you all, you know, and everything we do this morning. So. All right. Well, not a problem then. We'll open up the floor. Anybody else got anything that they want to bring out in here this morning? Just raise your hand. If not, then I'll keep going. Cool. Everybody's quiet. Crickets. I love it. So everybody's having a great life. You've got it all in order. You've got everything scheduled. Everybody's got their journals and schedule books out. So you know exactly how your day is going to go and what you're going to be doing today. There you go. Marilyn's got hers. Patrick's got hers. Everybody else that's watching on the live feeds. You got yours? All right. So every day, guys, we get in here, we bring this message, we bring the love, we bring the energy, right? So today was about dedication. Dedicating yourself to some time of training, to some YouTube channels, some videos of some shape, form, or fashion for other inspiration and knowledge that you're going to put within your day and in your life. Everybody within here is within an online organization uh, part that we're working on. So as long as everybody in here is having a great day and is doing what you're needed with the gratitude within it, then you can move your life forward. You know, they was talking about balance. They was talking about staying dedicated to the long haul because we are not in here for just to build a, I'm not here to build a, a mom and pop little store over here to, at the corner where it's only going to get traffic from the highway at the, you know, the stop at the stop sign. We're building something that the world gets to see within here. We're building something that is attracting attention, showing people how to do the videos on a day-to-day -day basis, how to be able to get the information out there to the world that is going to attract. So we're showing people how to edit the videos and how they can get the, you know, be out in the pretty scenes and be able to how to get the quick little words out within the one minute videos. You know, Facebook has been telling me the last few days to, you know, a little bit over three minutes. You know, to get a little bit more attraction, that they'll push out more organic is what the guy told me. Um, I had a meeting with Facebook a couple of days ago, and he said, uh, you know, for my, my page, I need to do some videos that were just over three minutes, and he, they would push it out more organically for us. So I was like, cool deal. They're making a lot of changes within the backside as well to where we'll be able to start doing some Facebook advertising for them and uh, some different stuff as well. So a lot of new things coming. And then plus their gas 6.0. Uh, or 2.0, 6.0. Woohoo! I'm jacking that baby up, ain't I? Uh huh. I ten times it already. So it's the Gaz 2.0 coming out uh, at the end of this month. So for everybody that is in the Gaz organization already, uh, the Global Affiliate Zone is the name of it. Get with the mentor. You know those that are actually ready. If you're doing the six weeks to abundance course, then you're working your way towards that to get a better understanding of what the Gaz is all about. So you know we we host events, uh, what we call the workshops and the uh, all over the world every 90 days. Why? Because to see within the last three years, 
240 people to be able to walk away from their careers to be able to do what we do full time to become an online affiliate marketer for corporations across the world. So to see thousands of people working on their jobs and building corporations as well, you know, within the last three years to know that me and Jan and many others have been right here on the forefront of changing and shifting lives on a day to day basis, you know, and all we had to do was start giving gratitude to what we were doing within our life and how we was able to shift our mindset because we went from working for someone else to working for ourselves. That's a shift in itself. So staying dedicated every day to get up with that gratitude, even on the days that it was the, Oh, like Shannon said a couple of days ago, it kind of hit her, overwhelmed her. Oh man, do I'm going to have to go back to a job? Am I going to, you know, this, that, and the other. Well, it kind of comes back to us every once in a while. And it's like that self doubt. It's a darkness because I was telling Shannon earlier, once you get brighter within your light and you start showing your energy, then what happens? It starts attracting people and it attracts darkness too. And a darkness is the fear, the self doubt. And it wants to overtake you and bring you back down to that level where you were at before in life, that comfort zone that, but once she started moving her vibrations up and her energy up, and then she did a cleansing the other day and you know, so her vibrations are way up here now. So now she's able to shine that power and get her energy up a whole lot higher. Well, then it's going to attack her a little bit, but yet she's learning how to see it, how to understand it, how to get the clarity on it and how to remove energies from her life. And that's what we do within here. Everybody in here is working on some, something that we is a situation or with is something that we've been dealing with for many years, whether it's a demon, a gremlin, whatever you truly want to call it, it doesn't matter. Just know that you have the control over it because that physical body is yours. That mind is yours and everything that you have ever put into that mind is what you have put into it. And you are the one that has to remove it, unlock it, trash it, recycle it, burn it, whatever you got to do with it. You know, so just know that you can take those memories and you can take those things and you can deal with those and you can deal with the, the situations that are within your body as well, all by a thought process and energy frequency that we have within us because the words that we give to ourselves is more powerful than any words, any material thing that I could throw at somebody will give them more pains. The words that we give out to others can give more pain just as well. So we start with giving ourselves good words each day. We start giving ourselves good energy each day. We go to the mirror each day, like Jen is saying over there in the comments, that yes, we go to the mirror each day and we say, I love you, and that we are giving ourselves encouragement every day when we wake up. Why? Because we are the ones that are in control of this life and this day that we're fixing to walk out there into the universe on. We have worked with him above to be able to know that the next direction that we're going is where we want it to be. So I'm not going to go walking into a bad situation on purpose, you know? So if I see something that's going on and it has nothing to do with me, I'm not going to go interject into it because it has nothing to do with my energy and where I'm going within my life. Now, if it's something to do with my family or my friends or something like that, then yes, I might go over there and see what's going on and how I can assist. But just know we're not going to always going looking for negative. We're not always going looking for that. We look for the good in all people. We look for the good in all situations. We look for the good energy in everything we have ever done. What have we learned from things? Because it wasn't a failure throughout life that we didn't accomplish that goal. No, you just quit yourself and didn't keep going for it because you didn't accomplish it. And you thought, well, hell, I didn't accomplish it in that time frame. I'm not going to be able to do it. You stopped on you. If you would have kept going, it would get accomplished. If it didn't happen in the 30 days, awesome. Keep going. The next 30 days may be the diamond of your life. I love that picture that you see on Facebook. There's two guys digging a trench side by side. And that one guy pops out real, real quick from digging very shallow. And he gets a little bitty diamond. So this guy gets out and walks away. He's happy with his little diamond. Well, this guy is digging is that far away from a big diamond. And yet he thinks he jumps over into this other hole and keeps digging deeper and deeper and deeper and finds nothing. And he's level in the ditch with that big diamond that's sitting right over there that is still away from him. Go keep going for your path. When that guy was digging his trench, that was his trench he was digging. He was looking for his diamond. He found it. He was happy with that little one he found. Go for yours. Stay going in your area where you want to be at. What's making you happy? Move your life in that direction. 
All right. Well, I'm going to open this up one more time and see if anybody else has got anything that they want to chat about right quick. If not, we're going to pass it on to Miss Shannon. Go ahead, Jen. I see your hand up, baby. I think aligning yourself too, like what you said, and then aligning yourself with what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, who you want to be with, and then watch those people naturally uh, be in your life. I know like I'm constantly taking down this rabbit hole of people's negativity wanting to feed on me. And I'm like, do whatever you want, because I know like, like a lot of people in this room watching right now or watching the live or replay. Um, those are my people. Those are the people that I get the most gratification with. I feel the most energy around. So I situate myself purposely around those people and the people, the nay haters, the sayers, those people, I just, I don't give them my time. I just don't, I just don't allow it in my life because you have to stay, you have to stay true to yourself. You have to stay on your highest level because that's really, you know, how you're going to get further in life and, and don't let anyone inflict on you. That's it. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey guys, I got something just quick here. I started uh, rereading Think and Grow Rich the other day, and I think I've read this before, but kind of goes with the message here today and just grinding it out. And there again, uh, been grinding it out for a year. I finally got my machine yesterday, got it all set up. So I'm drinking the water, guys. So talking about grinding, it's been a year, like I said, and it's here. So, but here's the, uh, here's the poem from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I bargained with life for a penny, and life would pay no more. However, I begged at evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is a just employer. He gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, why, you must bear the task. I worked for a menial's hire, only to learn dismayed that any wage I had asked for in life, life would have willingly paid. So, powerful poem to me. and. Just put in that work. It'll uh, it'll get paid eventually. Much love, everybody. That's it. Put in without give, without looking to receive, and it will come back tenfold every time. So we give our hearts, we give our dedication here every day. What are you staying dedicated to, Roger? You got something? Yeah, I would just want to touch on because uh, stay dedicated. Uh, just my life, I was the worst 10 years ago, and, and I never gave up that I, one day I would found, uh, find a good one. And actually, it came around the back way. She found me, so. <laughs> and y'all look so cute together every morning when y'all are in there together, and you're a little hugging and kissing. That's so cute. I love it, though. Cause, I mean, it, that's what it's all about. Y'all spending your time together, doing the things together, you know. Uh, creating and co-creating a life together you know so we co-create within here every morning with the ideas that we have we co-create with those the loved ones that we have within our life because when you share your your heart with another partner another mate however you want to call it I just know that now we are moving in a path of dreams that are together and not just my dreams you know so now we have hers as well and uh, so now we're working together to move what we want within our life and, you know, within the next five years, the next 10 years. So what is your bigger dream? What is your bigger goal? And are you staying dedicated on a day to day basis? You know, because if you give it good thoughts, good energies, then it will start happening a little bit faster than you may have had a five year plan on it. What if it happened in three? Are you going to say thank you? Are you going to enjoy the journey to get there? Are you going to stress out to get to that? So, you know, I have a big dream of only 200 to 500 acres to build a big retreat on. Do I have the exact monetary funds to take care of that now? No. But yet, do I feel that I have them? Yes. Do I feel that it's coming and that we will be able to do everything that we want up there? Yes. In its right time. So I don't force the issue. I don't push. I just know that I keep designing something more. Each time I drive by a location and I see something, I was like, oh, I like that design. So I put that in my head and then I get pictures of it. And then now it's what I'm creating a little bit more of what I see on that location. So have your bigger picture and your bigger goal in mind. Not just tomorrow, you know, because we're all here for a period of time, but we don't know if tomorrow is given. 
So give the good energy to today and the right now. Give the loved ones a hug. Stay dedicated to everything that you're doing today and know that you'll never get it all accomplished today. You'll never get it all finished today and that you will keep moving to that next one. All right. So, Miss Shannon, we're going to wrap this baby up. If anybody else doesn't have anything else that they want to bring out, Miss Shannon reads an affirmation for us to wrap things up. And uh, we want to thank everybody that's come out on the live feeds and on the, uh, the new, new feeds that we got it going out on right now and on the YouTube channel that's uh, catching this. I want to thank you all for enjoying the time with us this morning. And whenever you did get to catch this, we love and appreciate you all. Shannon, we'll let you take it away. Good morning, everybody. I have the ability to create anything that I want. My life is filled with great abundance in every area. I am totally committed to achieve my goals and my dreams. I am attracting positive and abundant people in my life. I am positive, passionate, and successful. I learn from the past, live in the present, and plan for the future. My positive belief in myself is transforming my life. My dreams are manifesting before my eyes. I am living the life of my dreams. Thomas, can't hear you. There we go again. <laughs> Thank you. See, you ain't got to be tech savvy and remember all the buttons, but have fun with life, guys. Thank you, Shannon, for reading. Thank you, everybody that's come out and give a message today. Thank you for your energy and thank you for your love, your support, keeping this going because your messages are bringing other people some inspiration that they need to move their life into a new direction. So have fun with everything, guys. Enjoy the journey uh, because the destination is coming, but it's the journey that is so much fun to get there to make it all happen. Have fun with the guys. Love and appreciate you all.